All right, so it's the morning of day 11 and I made a bad strategic decision. I went down by the river last night and I decided I wanted to just get my clothes wet to try to get some of the smell off. And I thought they would, that would be a good idea. It was bad in several respects. One, I, I dropped my hat in the water and my sunglasses were on it and they floated down the river. So I lost my sunglasses and my hat is still soaked um, when I bent down. And then second, you can see hanging on the tree are the clothes that I washed and they're all still soaked this morning. So in addition to the six days of food I'm carrying, I'm now gonna be carrying wet clothes. Rookie mistake. A couple quick hints about that I learned from my experience with Muir Trail Ranch. One, if you're coming southbound like I am, there's a shortcut at the first sign that says Florence Lake. Take it. I didn't, I added extra miles, a couple extra miles to my hike. I came down to the more southerly entrance, although beautiful way in was not the best way. Everybody at camp made fun of me for coming in last when I was ahead of everybody coming in, uh, except for the Suttons. And the other thing is um, when you come into Muir Trail Ranch, don't expect much. I, I'd have to say it wasn't that great. So blessed to be able to experience sunrise in the Sierras. Uh, it's just beautiful all around. And um, Got the sunblock on, it's supposed to be a sunny, bright day. And uh, looking forward to getting to Evolution Lake, which is about almost the 16 mile day, which is one of our longer ones and all uphill. But honestly, don't mind the uphills. I may change my tune at the end of the day, but right now, happy to enjoy the Sierra sunrise. On we go. So far, I like this part of the trail. It's a uh, gradual uphill. It's going to get more steep as we go, but <clears throat> nice mountains all around. And you can see the sun coming up over the crest of that hill. Sutton's left about 45 minutes before I did. We wake up around the same time, but they scoot out. They're experienced in how to get everything ready and go. And uh, Harvey always runs over and helps me with my tent, which I really appreciate. He's a great kid. Uh, one other quick thing about Harvey back in Mammoth, Josh and Cassie bought Harvey two squirt guns. And uh, they were little ones, didn't increase the pack weight too much. And uh, so the first day in camp, after he got the squirt guns, he gave me one and said, we're gonna fight the bad guys together. The bad guys being the spiders and mosquitoes. And so we went around camp shooting them down. And a couple of days later, just like with my sunglasses, um, one of Harvey's squirt guns floated away in the river. So we both have lost something that we wanted on the trip. So uh, maybe when we're in Independence, I can get my sunglasses and Harvey can get another squirt gun so we can fight the enemy, the mosquitoes. Saying goodbye to the John Muir Wilderness and uh, heading over this bridge into Kings Canyon. So, this is a serious bridge. Looks well constructed. And I just can never get enough of the mountain streams. I love them. So peaceful. Every way you look. I'm gonna take a second to enjoy it on top of the bridge.
Next national park. Here we come. How many paths look like this? It's like a path to the mountaintop. Unfortunately, I think it probably is. I can definitely understand the canyon part of Kings Canyon National Park. It's amazing how the river just slices through the, the rock. John Muir Trail or thinking about it, I didn't even know about this national park. I'm Emily and this is Mike and we are going north. Uh, we got married a year and a half ago and in the process of getting married we knew that we both wanted to do the JMT. So we decided we were going to do it this year. Um, all the kids are out of the house so it's awesome. Oh congratulations! Yeah. <laughs> are you guys having fun? Absolutely. Well, keep up the good work. Thank it was really you. nice meeting Thank my you. first Northbounders. Yeah. <laughs> See ya. My gosh, I love being out here. Holy cow. All right, so the weavers have done it right. Look at this camp setup. So impressive. Did your clothes dry? Because mine didn't. Almost. Almost <laughs> Good work, you guys. Thanks. Kings Canyon really is amazing. I just love it in here. The trail goes right along the, the river. I don't want to jinx myself here, but I really enjoyed this morning's hike. The cool temperatures and going along the river have been, it's probably my favorite yet. They've all been great, so it's hard to say favorites. Going into Evolution Valley in two miles and uh, crossing that bridge. So um, word is definitely have to ford the river uh, for Evolution Creek and I'm looking forward to it. Can't wait. And I wore pants today because of the mosquitoes from yesterday and I'm gonna be happy to take the pants off. I'd rather hike in shorts. So I'll get wet after I take the pants off and hike in the river. Well, I definitely jinxed myself as soon as I said how much I like the hike this morning. It got real hard, real fast, straight uphill. So, uh, but still amazing. Coming up to Evolution Creek. Waterfalls are so powerful. Here it is. Can't wait. So ever since I got my permit, I've been obsessed with this creek because people said this was going to be a tough one to cross. 
I think I'm in luck. I think it's going to be good enough. I um, looked at the post holer website almost every day at work at lunch to see what the snow conditions were to see if the creeks would be high. I think, I think this one will be okay, so I'm going for it. So this is Mary Ellen and Hannah. We've been hiking together since, well, not directly together, but in the same orbit yeah. since Donahue Pass. So that's where we met. You guys want to share how it was that we met? Oh yeah. So he taught me how to use my far out app because I didn't know how to track my own location. Um, and then he dropped a croc <laughs> and I returned. <laughs> you, you saved me because carriers. I would not have been able to cross this creek without the crocs. These two just absolutely <laughs> chew up mountains and spit them out. So you guys have been great. Thanks. See ya. <laughs> Good job. You got it. All right, Cassie, do you have some good news for me? Yes, this is exactly the halfway point, all the way to when we're done. We're yes, done. here yeah. we come, Mount Whitney. Yes. Woo Harvey, you've made it halfway, and how do you feel? Great. Yes, all right, keep up the good work. Off we go. The wow. Sutton train is leaving the station. <laughs> I cannot believe that I get to eat lunch right here. It's so amazing. Right at the curve of the river. On my way up to Evolution Lake, and I wanted to show the reality of me huffing and puffing, because it's been a climb. But going well, can't wait to get there. Thank goodness for the awesome views. Gives me an excuse to stop the uphill climb for a second. It's crazy. After Evolution Lake, Muir Pass tomorrow morning. Right now, I'm gonna enjoy what we have. I am in awe. Again. What a welcome sight coming over the ridge. And I don't mean the water. I mean, I think there's flat ground. Whew. And the lake is definitely beautiful too. But right now I'll take the flat ground. Time to find the Suttons and set up camp. I found the Suttons. Are you guys kidding me? Look at this site. That's pretty. Holy cow. Harvey and Josh are catching fish with their bare hands. Harvey, these camping spots keep getting better and better, don't they? Yeah. We, I caught a fish with my bare hand. After dinner, can I go fishing with you? Yeah. Yes. You caught another one. Let's see. Good job. Are you going to release them? Yeah, put them back in the water. Give them a deeper spot. Don't throw them. There he goes. If you get in the water like me, Harvey, and you walk this way. Let's see, Cassie. Yes! <laughs> Champion. Oh. So I have a gravity filter. Uh, 
no trees around, so we're going to use this stick. This is how Josh Sutton improvises. That's right. Hey, you guys picked the perfect spot tonight, it except that there awesome. are no trees, so. But no mosquitoes. So far, you guys are jinxing it, but. I don't care. It's, it's, it's already been better than any other spot. <laughs>